So oftentimes in, in dealing with difficult issues, uh, for people who have been through difficult circumstances, they find themselves feeling defeated, feeling um, demotivated, feeling lost. And oftentimes they find themselves feeling as though they don't have anything that they can do and they feel powerless. I'm really, really glad to be here today at Puraki, Nepal, where that's not the case. Where you have uh, an organization that's set up today because a woman and others who had gone through the, the, the situation of, of being trafficked or being uh, migrated through illegal means and so forth have suffered different, different situations. They decided to set up an organization to intervene and help other women, women who've been trafficked, women who are victims of modern slavery, women who are in very difficult, difficult circumstances, some coming with mental health issues, some impregnated, some with stateless children, and they are intervening. And I, I'm here today because the UN has been supporting this kind of work here in Nepal, but I want to understand it for myself. I want to meet the people who set up Puraki Nepal. I want to meet the women who have been benefiting from Puraki Nepal. And I want to make sure that as the United Nations sets forth its next five years partnership in Nepal, that I have a deep understanding of what the issues are. There's so much to ask you about all that you've been through. And I don't want to in any way make what, you, what you've been through seem like it's good or it's right. By me saying I'm proud of you. I'm not proud of you because you had to go through that. I'm proud of you because you overcame that. In Gulf country, um, I've lived in the Middle East and I've interacted with women, young women in fact, like yourself, who were trafficked. In fact, I had a young woman who was asking me to help her because her passport was taken by the employer. She reported it to the company and the company was in cahoots or in agreement with the employer. And I encountered some of these young women in the Middle East and I tried to help them at the personal level. The system was too, too big for me. I couldn't, I couldn't help them. And I'm wondering how you escaped. How did you manage? Coming back, trying to make your way back to Nepal. Who helped you? Did people help you? I think it's good that that government helped you to return, but those who misled you, those who tricked you, uh, since you've returned, have they looked for you? Message to other young women like yourself in relation to migration and the risk of trafficking in migration. Uh, 
so it's interesting, we feel that the only option that young people have is to migrate. And your, your caution is that they should make sure that they're not trafficked, they should make sure they get the right information, go with the right companies, but you would encourage migration. From your viewpoint, that's the solution. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Thank you for uh, being so open and, and so pleasant in, in terms of us trying to probe into your life to understand a little bit better. And I do hope that you have better opportunities. And I do hope that the path you've taken now to build your skills, to try and prepare yourself for something better, I do wish you the best of luck with everything you're trying to do.